Hey guys, Paranormal Video Gamer here. Uh, it's been about five days now since I've had COVID um, total. So <coughs> approximately, please forgive me for my coughing episodes. It's one of the things with COVID that you get is you get this really intense cough. And uh, when you cough, you get into these um, coughing fits that ooh, in... Uh, they last literally for about 20 to 25 minutes, literally, literally like the whole time that I've had it. Um, I'll get it. I'm trying to control it um, because I know the more you cough, the worst it can be for your lungs. So I'm trying to prevent spreading it as much as possible. Um, but yeah, the coughing will last 20 to 30 minutes continually. And... It literally takes the breath out of you. Um, I've had a, a lot of support, and I greatly appreciate that. I'm okay. Um, my fever finally broke yesterday. Uh, I had been having a fever for about f four days of 100 to 101. It finally stopped. Um, I am now down to 99 degrees, which that's a, a very large improvement because... Um, before it was way up there and I literally felt like I couldn't move because this virus, it doesn't want you to move. It wants you to stay where you are and not move at all. It wants you to sleep. It wants you to be as inactive as possible. Um, uh, on the advice of a friend who had it, they told me even if you just walk around for 10 minutes, um, it's good enough. It's getting your body to move and fight the virus. And um, as soon as I am recovered from this freaking virus, I am going to get my flu shot. I can't go right now because obviously I am, you know, contagious. Uh, there's also a new coronavirus uh, mutation, another... Um, type of virus that is corona but it's more contagious and it was found in Colorado and I thought I read somewhere it was in California as well and that's pretty scary because I'm fighting this right now and I can tell you that I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy it is that bad I, I, I've had the flu before it is nothing like the flu it is probably if I had to take an educated guess it's probably four or five times worse than the flu. The fever alone, I've never had a fever for longer than two days. I, when I did have a fever, it was 100 degrees. Uh, it rarely went up any further than that. I think my highest, if I remember, was 103. And I, I was very scared because I knew if I didn't get it down that I would be in really deep crap. And uh, thankfully... I got it down, and it pretty much maintained uh, between 100 and 101, which, again, doesn't sound like a big improvement, but when you go from 101 to 99, and your body temperature is normally about 98.2, that's my average, uh, I don't usually do 98.6, um, it's, it's a huge improvement, um, so I'll show you right now. It might have spiked up a little bit, but that's what this virus is doing. Uh, I got my little thermostat or thermometer here, and I'm going to do this live so you guys can see that the temperature really sucks.
and right now it's, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says 99.4. So it did go up a little bit, but it's not as bad as it was. Uh, again, I went from 100 to 101, and it pretty much consistently stayed there. Uh, no matter what I took, uh, it was the same thing. It would literally stay there days on end. And let me tell you, that sucks. Um, and the, the, the cough that people experience, I will tell you, is pretty bad. Like I said, the coughing um, will last anywhere between 25 and 20 minutes. I, I even had one spell where it was literally 30 minutes of almost nonstop coughing. And uh, I've had flus where I had cough. And uh, they lasted maybe five minutes. I was coughing so much that my chest was in great pain because I was literally coughing uh, so hard. My body is basically just trying to get whatever it is, the mucus or whatever, out. And this is how that virus, it, it, it basically pushes the virus out to people by, um, you know, making you cough so you spread it around everywhere. And, uh, wow, just, wow. You also lose your, at least for me, I lost my taste of, uh, my taste buds. Um, I got a little bit of a stuffy nose, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. But losing my taste buds kind of sucked because the other day I went to go eat a piece of chicken. And to me, it tasted like if I were eating cardboard. And that was the weirdest thing. Like, I know exactly... Like, I put spices on it and everything, and I said to myself, this should be really good. And then I, I took a bite of it, and I went, well, why does this taste like cardboard? It literally tasted like cardboard, which is the weirdest thing that I will, I will tell you guys. Um, so, again, I don't recommend you want this. I know there are a lot of conspiracy theorists out there that are saying that, you know, it's a fake disease. People are not getting sick. People in Florida aren't wearing masks and none of them are sick and that's bull because I actually have two friends from Florida who are also fighting coronavirus and um, one is in the hospital right now. I got another friend who is from Ohio. Uh, she's fighting the coronavirus in the hospital and she's had it twice. She's uh, confirmed, um, tested positive for COVID-19 twice. And I feel so bad for her because the, the first time she went through it, it was bad for her. Um, she literally didn't eat, drink. Um, she could barely breathe. This time it seems like it's a lot worse for her. Uh, she is getting therapy and thankfully uh, when I talked to her today, she seemed like she was improving. I asked her for some advice of what may have worked for her the first time. And she gave me that advice, and I'm greatly appreciated to Callie. And I wish her the very best uh, of recovery because I'm, I'm in that same boat as she is. And um, I'm grateful that my job has paid me for two weeks to get rid of this thing and not come to work and spread it to other people. Um, that's really saying something to a company when they step up and they say, Hey, look, you need to get better. Don't worry about coming to work. We'll handle everything. You just get rest, get better, and come back to work at full strength. And that was what my, my actual supervisor wrote on uh, my notes uh, when I received my uh, the what they call the grant um, from work. Uh, he basically wrote, you know, that, and that was greatly appreciated. It really was. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the other videos that I posted with Assassin's Creed and uh, I uh, posted uh, the golf one because I'm actually very happy about that score. I've never done five under before, but this is just a little bit of a video update. Let you guys know um, what's going on with my status since the last video. I've, I've had a couple of uh, days where I didn't feel like myself. Um, not memory problems or anything like that, more of, um, just feeling tired and, um, exhausted, and I slept for a little while, and, uh, I, I, I'm doing a lot better than a lot of people are, and, uh, I know it's a fight, 
and I'm not giving up. So I hope you guys stay safe, and I will see you guys here very soon. And uh, I will give you guys an update here in a day or two, uh, letting you know about my condition, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, take care, everybody, and remember, you're always part of the crew. You're always part of the boopski. Boop, 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 boop.